All right, guys, welcome back to part number nine of the Final Fantasy VII Remake playthrough. Hope you are all well. And we are jumping right back into it here as we are going to try and save the Sector Seven slums from its demise here as Shinra are about to drop the plate right on top of it. So, yeah, we're going to see it's all kicking off already. There's gunshots and helicopters and, and all sorts going on over there. So, um, let's see if we can't uh, get on top of things. Sorry. Alright, so. Straight back into the story we go. Oh. Not the spectres again. What are you? Cloud, Tifa, we have to get past whatever it takes. Right. All right. Let's. Um... Assess. Um, normally attacks have a slight effect on the stack gauge, but the gauge fills more quickly after it has been interrupted. Um, not really weak or weak to a lot. Um, okay. Let's just check the others as well. I got you. Uh, magic attacks to fill it rapidly. It's vulnerable. Oh wow, Tifa's kicking ass. Take out these guys and then attack. Looks like he's the only one left. I think I've taken out all the other ones, which is quite quite mad. Um, I guess we're just going to keep hitting it with spells and things until it falls down. There's nothing else to hit though here, so. I think that's healing it. It's, it's getting healed. Take out the mysterious ones first and then go for like the enigmatic one. I 
I think Cloud's healing it though. Cloud's healing it. That's what's happening in the game at the minute, um, Doctress, so that's what Atom's uh, referring to. Are you just gonna desert me now? Aerith? Come on. Okay, so I was a little anticlimactic. Got them down to like half. Got them down to like half health and then they just disappear. What you got? Come on! Sounds like Barrett. I love the fact like Ares is like a healer, but yet um, and she can heal anybody in the party like straight away. But somebody, uh, some NPC gets damaged, and it's like, I'll try and patch you up, and it takes them like weeks and days to actually patch them up, sort of thing. Obviously, it'd make for a crap story if uh, it'd make for a rubbish story if uh, they just healed them straight away, of course, but. have a little stock up before we head on up. Nothing on the cheap. Um, it's pretty rubbish. <laughs> Obviously you didn't set it early enough. <laughs> it's all good. A couple of interesting maps today, actually. Uh, we played um, a horror map. We played a build your own test chamber map. And then we uh, finished up on a quaternary map, which we didn't actually finish and we're going back to it tomorrow, so. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. Don't they have anything better to do? Tell me about it. See how hard we got hit over here? Shit. What's wrong with these people? Hydrate for Doctress. Oh, a Pepsi. You caught me out. Steve Frosty, boy. Gonna be a long night. Roger that. Steve Frosty. Ooh ha. Uh, spells thunder I crap sentry gun. Calling light. 
Can I assess you? Too bad. <laughs> I thought it might be a bit spookier than it actually was at him, to be fair. Napalm? Jeez. Did I use that? Here, chili, 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 chili. Spectres. No! What about it, doctors? Don't apologize. Do not apologize. All good. back that's good to hear could have used some extra padding myself <coughs> don't talk <coughs> it's pretty bad up there this is the end of bigs cloud promise me don't let it be for nothing hmm. I won't It's an orphanage. In the 
Sector 5 slums. The kids, they're great. I used to visit. <coughs> That you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. I'm not a fan of kids. <laughs> no. But you have so much in common. Good luck. in your hands. <laughs> oh. This isn't over. We lost pigs. I'm just checking for boxes and chests before we head out any further. Do I need to... Two. An ether. And dagger is such a good spell, but it just consumes so much. Use so much... Um, MP. Wind attacks rapidly fill their stagger gauge. Yeah. Gotta be careful. I remember these guys from the original. potions here though unfortunately I kind of wish I'd have got some I've got a healer Can I jump down Yeah. 
Wow, you just waste both your attacks there, Cloud. Now we're gonna die. Yeah, I um, wasted both my bravers there. <laughs> I had like two full ATB bars and I should have healed, but I wasted them both trying to attack the propeller guy. Yeah, I <laughs> definitely need to work on my aim. I've got Rector's aim. But yeah, definitely those long fall boots. Pay attention. I'm waiting. The thing is, though, like Cloud's not really a aerial attacker, so it's like quite difficult to hit the aerial enemies. I don't have the right material equipped either, so that doesn't help either. sick of the rain it's like we're meant to be in may and it's like winter we're still like i think this is like the first year in like absolutely ages we've still had like our heating on in may it's crazy how cold it is still I, I remember having the Miko. I don't think I ever... I don't actually think I ever finished them. Um, I've still got the original CDs actually in my cupboard here. My new hot tub came at the, on Friday as well. And it's been like... I've got it all set up, but it's like not the right weather to enjoy it yet, so. Attention, Avalanche Skull. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, but Shinra, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? I love the way the uh, the Turks is kind of employing that um, we're the ones that are trying to destroy the pillar. Pillar when it's really uh, soldier, uh, Shinra. Sorry, not soldier. Cloud run. Not good. Hmm. All right. 
down your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> or his doctress. saves the day thank you that was a close one how is it much better thanks I'm sorry I can't stay here I have to help them <laughs> go follow your heart There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? It's like, how'd you know? How'd you know about Marlene? Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Thanks, Doctress. They don't even know how we're doing on. on the community challenge, anyway. Seventh heaven is this way. Twenty-one percent already. Yikes! You guys can't stay here. Hey, let us through! Come on, come How on! Are we supposed to get to Wall Market, sir. Uh, you need to step away from the gate. You have to open the gate. If you don't let these people through, back off. It's not gonna happen. Uh, uh, Wedge. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <laughs> That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We can still save a lot of lives. I've already played the original. You I've just not played the CBT edition, Doctress. i the plate, do you? I want to believe that we can still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we do due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here. Right now. I need to know I did everything I could. Yikes. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. <sighs> Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all going to die. <clears throat> Too late, Doctress. Close it. No, sir. I will not obey that order. This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just fight! Uh, uh, Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. Uh, Don't worry about me. All right. I'll get these people to safety. Go, Wedge. This get out of Sector 7, guys. please! We need to get as far away from on? Sector 7 as possible exactly. right now! Go to Sector 5 or 6! Anywhere but he... You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now, please! Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with the pillar? Well, there's still time. But... They're going to drop the plate on us? That's right. Yes. Those sons of bitches! Well, what good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. 
up to it. Avalanche, I take it? <sighs> Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Some magic Aerith. Yikes. We need water. Hot enough for you? Nobody thinks like come and help Aerith. It's gotta go round because clearly I can't go through fire. Gotta get through. Gotta find a way. Just follow the like the people. Finally. Hold on. Oh, you poor thing. I know it must hurt, but you've got to be brave now, okay? Come on, keep moving this way! Hey! Hey! Over here! Come on! I'll take you to her. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost there. Makes any sense. Come on, this is holding us up. There's like a fire raging in front of the bar, and we're like spending our time to. We're just like spending our time walking. Come on, we've got to go too. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Leave everything behind. We just have to work together. Get to Wall Market now. It's too dangerous here. This way, quickly now. Keep moving. Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty, I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. Stop! That way's already... Please, I need to get through. Us? This is it, isn't it? I can't go that way. No. Almost there! Get the hell out of my way! No, it's not worth it. What's gonna go bang now? Something? Anything? There we go. Knew something had to go bang, right? Probably for the best. After all. It sang. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. Oh, we're almost there. Let's go, Aerith. Let's go. Please be okay. Hold on, Marlene. I'm coming for you. Marlene. You're Marlene. It is Marlene. Right? She's with Cloud and the others. 
Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh. The thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> There's like all this like hustle and bustle of like evacuating everybody from the slums. But nobody comes to like the biggest bar in the whole of the slums to like make sure that anybody's here or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being thinking into things too much. I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together. Anywhere. Thinking I I was gonna say like it's how come like they've like Barra and the rest of Avalanche have left her on her own, but in the original, I'm sure either Tifa or Barrett tells Marlene to watch the bar and look after it while they're gone. So it's like, even though she's a little child, they give her so much responsibility in the original game. It's crazy. And clearly she is just like a scared little girl sort of thing. What was that all about? That little sort of like glitch. You smell nice. Oh? Like, like a flower. I hope you remember it. Come on. Let's go to safety. I'll tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I can help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your? <sighs> Way to interrupt the dialogue. <sighs> Let us on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. How about we make a deal? <laughs> so, for those of you wondering what's going on, Shinra and the Turks are after Aerith for various reasons that will all come out relatively soon in the story I don't want to spoil it but that's the reason why Sung has come in here after Aerith the Shinra is like after her for a sp particular reason but like I said I don't want to spoil too much Do you ever get the impression Rude just saved Tifa's life there? What the hell? Nice catch. You're crazy. Just like you. So suck it up, because I'm not leaving. Damn it! Do you want to explain yourself, partner? Excellent. Yeah. Well, I fancy her. <laughs> Where's 
there? I sent her to Seven Heaven to get Marlena. And Wedge? I asked him to show her the way. Okay. We can still stop this. Right? Yeah. Back it, let's keep moving. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? <laughs> well, if this is how you want to play it, that's fine by me. That lightning in there quick before they uh stay sharp. You better run. Best thing to do is just keep hitting with the lightning spells. I don't know about you, but I'm over this shit. Alright, so I'm gonna need to cover clouds magic power slightly. The teamwork. Save us all some time and give up. Why would I do that? What's uh, up, guys? Have I just like gone the wrong way somewhere? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I've totally gone the wrong way. Whoopsie. Oh, maybe we'll go down to go up. Maybe. Uh. Man, you suck at hiding. Does it ever come to your attention that maybe I'm not trying to hide, though, guys? What's up, guys? Looks like Bugs Bunny now. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, if this is how you want to play it, that's fine by me. No worries, Mika. <laughs> oh, yeah. You better run. <laughs> Shield front. <laughs> What have I got that can share? Boom. Go around this way. I'm not using any more 
and Dagra yes. there. I guess so. I see you. Oh, I just as a as a sort of while well, I just like running around here, um, actually while I think about it, um, uh, I've got a couple of your maps coming up real soon, actually, on the queue. Uh, I think like a couple of the self isolation maps I think are coming up real soon in the queue. So, just so you're aware. Jesse. So, how'd you guys rate my latest and greatest design? Eleven out of ten. <laughs> Today is your unlucky day, cause I never miss. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, don't mess with Jesse. There's a helicopter there. I didn't realize he was there. What sort of bread have you got, Mika? Move aside. Locked onto. I seriously, I I just don't get sometimes this whole this game's lock-on system.
Ah. I really should have like put some healing on these guys. Like fresh, freshly baked bread. Yeah. All right. I think we need to. I was gonna save and make Barrett my healer, but I think we're gonna have to do. I think Tifa's gonna have to become the healer. Um. Cue the helicopter that's going to come and shoot us, surely. No? Surely we've got to come up with Barra soon. Jesse! Jesse. Is it okay? Bombs. They were all my victims. I had it coming. Yes, yeah, it's what we call like a, a like a so part baked roll that you'd kind of like put into the oven, and then it would kind of like cook it and stuff. I do like those sorts of rolls. Especially when they're warm and you put butter inside them. I, I just wish that I could have had you over again. Everyone with mom's cooking. I really wanted to believe we could. Yeah. You owe me a pizza. No! Jesse! 
Jeez. Safe bench. Uh, crust. I would call it the crust um, normally on bread. Bread rolls might be like something different. Um, I'm not sure what, how you would say it differently. But yeah, normally like the outside of like a bit of bread is the crust. Wow, that's just been a, a rough time for Avalanche, you know. We've lost uh, two members. Yes, Mika, that's right. We've lost two members of the team, and Wedge is injured. Well, there's no going down. There goes our cover. Time for a rematch, huh? Rude. All right, let's we're going to take on Reno again. So one thing that's like always like bothered me about like this section of the game is why would there be like a why would there be if, if this is a structural part of the plate right why would there be some sort of function <laughs> in a computer program to separate the structure from the plate that the plate from the structure i just i don't know again i know it's a computer game i'm looking into it too much but why would i don't know Alright, so we need to sort Barra out, and he's going to be our healer.
Um, I also need to do... Weapon upgrade. Balanced. Alright, so now we'll go back to setting him up. I will stick with the LMG. And we're going to give him... So I'm not going to have him equipped too much. And... I think we're going to give him a Mithril Armoret. Okay, so then... We will give him... Shiva. And we need uh, set these as separates. Raise and healing. Where's barrier? Barrier. And auto cure. I suppose we're going to want some... Have I got any info on Rude, actually? It's to... Uh, Rude. No, we haven't... Oh, it's not Rude, it's Reno, isn't it? But no, we haven't got any items about him. I tend to have the uh, the opposite issue, per actually, a lot of the time, Mika. Whereby I have to um, turn my Wi-Fi off and go onto my 4G. Alright, Barrett, we need some sort of attack material on Barrett. I don't think lightning's going to work. So we'll do synergy with poison. Let's see if we can poison him. And... We're only fighting a single target here, so that won't be of any use. Steel, poison. Don't really know what refocus does, but a cloud don't want lightning on him because pretty sure Reno is
I'm pretty sure he is immune to lightning because he has lightning attacks. Let's go over ice. Alright, well, I guess we'll go with this, see how we get on. Stop. Allow me. Yeah, so like, so like I said there, Magic and Lightning have only a slight effect on his stagger. to berserk, slow, and silence. Oh, it looks like the poison strategy is working, though. Abilities. Not looking good. All right, Tifa's going to have to use a high potion on Cloud for now. on cloud. About half. Say what? I see you're doing whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Guess I'm rubbing up on you. <laughs> Heads up, guys. Gotta be smart. You gonna do a bombing run? Holy crap. So that's an attack from the original. And the only way to get around that is to um, have some, one of your characters attack. Clear out now. 
Yikes. This is, uh, not easy. So we need to make a potion Tifa. in a copter so I guess we just got to take him out then looks the red he looks like clouds brother maybe a little bit I Took down the chopper. Damn it. <laughs> the dreams are. I was planning to join you anyway. Oh, now I've got to take on both of them? Any landing you can walk away from. Come on. Let's teach him the Turks two step. Oh dear. What happens when you miss all the Turks? You're up. Take it over. Jeez, Louise. Summon. Can I not? Oh, I guess I've got to do it with Tifa. Oh, it's Chocobo Mog. I don't know if you noticed in the first fight what we did against Rude when we was with Aerith um, in the Sector 5 slums. His glasses got destroyed and he instantly just pulled another pair out of his jacket and put them straight back on again, which I found quite funny. Oh my goodness. Combo, that's not good. Oh, 
Uh oh. We still got a Oh wow, Stampede of Chocobos. Rude's defeated. Rude is down. Yes, we did it. We did it. Can we stop the plate, though? Can we stop the plate? Why did, why did the why does the ghost like stop them though? Uh oh. You son of a bitch! What have you done? That's it, Barry. Just, just shoot it. It's fine. <laughs> you're probably your only chance of like stopping the plate from falling, and you're gonna shoot it up with your gun. Good job, Barrett. What do we do? We're in trouble. Super fun zip slide. I 
goes the bar. No! Got wedge as well. Big Sith. The thing is though, it's not only like killed the people of the Sector 7 slums below, it's like just totally destroyed and killed everybody above the plate as well, who lives on top of the plate, so. Jeez. General will stop at nothing. Got enough now to redeem FPF. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's like a, an eighth of like the entire city that Shinra has just destroyed. It's a big pile of rubble. Hey! Anybody out there? Barrett! I think I hear him up ahead. Hey! Can anybody hear me? Here goes. And push! Yikes. It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before, it was Shinra that pulled the trigger to death. Am I right? Size of those hands compared to Tifa, jeez. Hold on to this, this anger, okay?
Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Yeah, everything that they like, everyone they know, and everything that they've hey, built has just been just like I absolutely crushed. So, and take her somewhere safe. a man. It's a pretty uh, bad situation to be in, indeed. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? Got to head now. I don't really think it's spoilers, but now we're going to head back to Sector 5. At least we're doing the original game, and we go back to How see. I didn't really think that. See Tifa's mama. Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Yeah, like Walking Dead's really good. Even commune with it. I really Don't should go back stuff. to see I've got series season three to play as well. I should really go back that to that at some point and play that. Her so badly. It's nothing. Let's go. It's Sam. Hey, pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. Got to calm them down somehow. seen this coming it's all so tragic chocobos are so frightened they're refusing to move wait over there what the hell are they doing here their jobs probably mm. 
Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Alright, so Barrett's leading the way to sector five. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to sector seven, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. You guys run into Jesse at the villa. Yeah. Biggs too. They were both in Let pretty bad you. shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Fortunately, I don't think he did, Tifa. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, what of us? Right. Hey, Cloud, gonna need your help with it, too. Right. Yeah, so that's Sephiroth, and he's like the ultimate end game boss kind of thing. Um, you don't see it, I don't think, well, we haven't, you might not see it in this, but story goes that when Cloud joined Soldier, he wanted to be like him, be like Sephiroth. And um, he got posted with Sephiroth when Sephiroth basically lost his mind and went absolutely crazy. And he burnt down Cloud and Tifa's hometown when they were on a mission there. And then he just disappeared. Nobody knows where he went. But um, like I said, I don't know how much of this, the story, or the original story, the game, this game is going to delve into. Because, like I said before, this whole remake is literally just the first two, three, four hours of the game. They've, there's nothing more. There's so much more of this game that they haven't covered in this remake. There's like, this probably only touched about 5% of the game, I would say. 5 to 10% of the original game. So it's hard to, to kind of like say what to say without ruining things because we might find out later in this. Um... I think what would be quite what would be quite mad is once I've pl finished the remake, I should maybe just like fire up the original, and then we should maybe just do like a run through of like everything we've played in the remake in the original, and it would literally only take like two streams. But I think that'd be like a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, anywho, we need to go and see Aerith's mama. And um, this this like whole bit coming up, this will sort of it'll develop Eris Eris character and um, her her backstory basically. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on in, pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't even imagine how it looks over there. I don't think so. Yeah. The only contributing factor here is uh, that Shinra was screwing the people. It's literally you can't track of any other than NPCs until we've done this bit. the house. Marlene! Marlene! Just push your way in, Barrett. Why not? Where 
Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barry. Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little friend. Yeah, basically. Uh, uh, hmm. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Don't you maybe want to talk Keep to Amira? Don't wake her. Say like thanks and stuff. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Okay, maybe she doesn't want to talk to me. Let's... Keep it down. Don't wake her. Maybe doesn't want to speak to me at the minute. Marlene. My baby, thank God. Shh. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? Hey, Bob Monkey, what's going on? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market. Or that they were topsiders, fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. 
When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. Needs reading a load of text though, like in the original Poor Ponky. <laughs> At least they read it to me. Dad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked. I can't though. <laughs> What's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> And then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! Aaron, you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith- Oh, I wish that Shashi Paul Ponky looks like an interesting game, for sure. Don't whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why so even if they did take her away. I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Okay. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Why on earth would we go back to Sector 7 and full well been completely destroyed? gonna win this fight, I promise. Alright, so basically, now that we've had a bit of backstory about Aerith, um, 
Take care of yourselves now. Take care of yourselves now. She's a descendant from a, a, an ancient race of people called the Ancients, and they are basically like the planet's protectors. She is the last surviving ancient, and Shinra want her. The entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. That's a, that's a good question, actually, Paul Ponky. But yeah, the ancients, um, the ancients basically are believed to hold, like, the key to the planet. And Shinra want to unlock the planet's abilities and it, everything that the planet has to offer. Um, just so that they can basically extort it and abuse it like they very much they have been doing with the um, the Mako up to this point. So um, that's basically what they want with her is they want to be able to use her to drain the planet even more of its resources and unlock its secrets. My ears are still ringing from it. This way. Oh, actually, uh, I gotta go that way, I suppose, because um, everything else will be covered in the rubble, won't they? They're actually called the Setra, I think, was the uh, the proper name for the ancients. Paul Ponky, pretty sure. Thinking about it. to me. Alright, let's keep moving. I'm pretty sure that uh well, chests and things might have been refilled from the first time we came through here. No <laughs> Luckily, though, I don't think we need to do like these puzzles again. It's blocked. Ugh. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. Parrot's already there. I'm going to have to deal with some of uh, Corneo's bugs again. Are these new enemies? That's it. Allow me. Yeah, I'll do it. 
enemy skill can be learned from this monster. Yeah, but I don't have enemy skill material yet, do I? So. Come on. Go. I don't have enemy skill materia, so I can't yes. learn the enemy skill, fortunately. Like that, okay? I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, we got some big boys. I got some no big boys. Back. I don't have any thunder anymore. Wow. Trouble. Um, we still got a job to do. I really need to get a handle on healing. Pretty tough. That one. 
be honest. Onwards we go. <laughs> Find the bandit camps again. Just Heavy duty bracer. Uh. I love this track. This track is awesome. Hopefully never, Mika. <laughs> Nothing to it. I need to show up those guys. Jeez. track isn't it we've got like a bit of almost like a bit of reggae as well really cool Butch. It's the guys that we did fight before and the guys that we fought in the um, Coliseum as well. Evading the attack and hitting him while his guard is down makes him more susceptible to staggering. Minimalistic, reggae, funky, drum and bass. Now that's a new freaking genre if I ever heard one. <laughs> oh, 
Orb of Gravity. It's just the, like, it's like the horns. Almost, I said reggae, I mean, it's almost a bit like Scary as well. I save you, Tifa. Aggressive vegetarian crime core. What the heck? I'll just Open nod up. and agree. Monsters everywhere. Hey, we're back at the park. Does that mean I get to play on the slide again? Glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. We need able bodied men and women. We can't afford to lose any more lives. Not now. Thing is, though, that they're, they're in the way. I want to go on my slide, and they're in the way. <laughs> Uh, how rude of them. How very rude. Never know what you're going to run into out there. Best be prepared. Love these jukebox songs. I just look. I uh, yeah. Careful out there. I just love the whole freaking. This is bad. I don't even know where to start. I love the whole freaking soundtrack. Whole soundtrack is bad. Sector seven. Yeah. Left a few things behind. You see, I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Big Bertha. Yeah, who doesn't want Big Bertha? Sell some stuff.
in shore, but it doesn't really... I may have made a mistake, but I'm just going to sell everything. It's not equipped. So I want one of them. One of them. Yikes. That's, all, that's all my money gone. Mistakes may have been made. Go for it. Big Bertha. Sorcerers are it. Gives me the ability to then add some more barrier port cleansing. Spire is my healer at the minute. And then Tifa is going to take the heavy duty bracer. And then she can have extra materia. What do you have ice? Cloud's got ice. Oh, what? I mean, 30 gil, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. 30 gil, what's the worst that could happen? God damn it all! My family didn't deserve this! Um, yeah. Go deeper underground. the way we should have taken the first time had we not have seen Tifa riding the chocobo and headed to war market chapter ooh leviathan Python. Uh, another summon fight soon. Chadley. Okay. Let's see what's on the other side. See you on the other side. Finally, I can use some fresh air. Damn it! I still can't believe this happened. Seems safe. I guess this is the um I guess this is like the service tunnel that the uh Marl was leading everybody to when we was Aerith looking for Seventh Heaven before everything got destroyed maybe. I suppose you're right. The house was pretty old. And it's not like we have the end. That one was a lot closer. 
I love the way they're like they're trying to just that like, that woman was trying to like justify what had happened. Oh, I'm guess. Well, I guess that my house was old and it needed a lot of work doing to it. So maybe it's a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. It's a, ma it's a massive disaster. Make room. Morrow, you're alive. With me. Ready? Great job, guys. Woman crushed by a massive slab of concrete and then just gets up and walks away. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. Pretty sure though, like in the cutscene of everything being destroyed, the bar was the first thing to get like squashed. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. <laughs> Hello! Anybody out there? I take it that little Marlene is safe and sound. That little girl's a hell of a lot stronger than you might think. I take it that little Marlene is safe. Bell the cats. I hope the cats got out. Can you hear me? Anyone there? After we went on that cat quest and found all the cats, I hope they got out. Oh, there's the bar. I was thinking more like some gorilla glue or something. I'm sure it'll just fix right up. Shit. Hear that? Cats. That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> What was that? Ready? One, two, three! Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? Isn't that like most cats? This place reeks of Shinra. Wedge? Wedge! Well, Shinra's underground test site. What? Tifa! Cloud! 
Shout if you can hear me! Hey! Search scope appears when you're in control of Barrow. That means there is a destructible object nearby. Look around for target icons per square to blast the mark. Obstacles are clear way forward. But this cannot be destroyed with a weapon equipped. <laughs> no path, you gotta make one. Well, I, I do that most days, actually, Paul Ponky. It's called owning long four boots. Bugaboo sounds like something like my kids would have. Oh, you know I'm destroying all these boxes. Pretty, pretty much like a old square quest at the minute. Topic was approved for your masters. Nice. What are you going to be writing about, Mika? Ah! You know what? I spent all that time and effort like destroying all the boxes. I would have thought it'd have been a nice little tasty achievement for me, but guess not.
long it take him to build all this beneath our feet? You're going down one way or another. <laughs> Great job, Barrett. Don't stop now. Next time, Barrett. Great Next job. Time. I guess the fact like the bars and everything are bent, there's like escaped monsters maybe in this area. Whatever the Shinra we're doing here. Man. You think they dug halfway to death? You really want to throw down with me? See ya! Oh yeah, another one in the bag! Suck on me! Okay, interesting. What's behind the door? I don't like the sound of that. To be honest. I'm not even sure it's behind the door. It might even be up here. You really want to throw down with me? Ain't no thing. Suck it. Suck on me. Ah. Ain't got nothing on me. Time to check out the other direction because I feel like that's the way we need to go. Ooh. Difficult topic. It's good though that you like keep finding like ways to push yourself and like advance yourself even further though, yeah. When you get there, it must be such it, it's such a like fantastic like feeling of self achievement, surely. Just no escape in the mist there.
Hi game. Didn't miss a box. Oh my goodness. This is looking pretty spooky. I'm not gonna lie. This does not look particularly good. Uh, but guys, I think I'm going to save it there. And that's probably as good a place as any for Call It tonight. Uh, I do have a feeling like we're going to come up like, to some big boss fight or something relatively soon. So I don't want to get um, too much more into it tonight. But thanks everybody for tuning in and watching along. I appreciate it. Um, Saturday night, uh, we may be back with this or we may be doing a... Uh, co-op stream with some other people i'm just seeing what other people's schedules are like but um i will update the schedule on the twitch page so please make sure you check that out we will be back tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m bst where we'll be continuing on with some more portal 2 community chambers but thank you very much everybody for tuning in i appreciate your support as always enjoy the rest of your day and until next time i've been knock you've been awesome happy gaming <laughs>